Okay, for question 10, we have this circuit with a supply voltage that tends to vary by plus or minus 1%. So there's like a small signal oscillation. Um, we need to find the corresponding variation in the output voltage, delta V out. And it is given that each diode has an ideal ideal factor of 1 and a thermal voltage of 25 millivolts. Okay, so if we assume uh, ideal diodes, right, then we can perform the DC analysis of the circuit and then calculate the small signal resistance for those diodes. So let's start with that. Uh, so the circuit that we have here, we can apply, uh, we can remove the, well, there's no small signal voltage, so we just ignore the plus or minus 1% voltage uh, variation, okay? And then we are left with a circuit that looks like this. So it's a voltage source in series with the resistor. And then we have two diodes here. Right, and then we have 50 ohm. So this is 50, it's 200. And then here we have 5 volts. So if we apply a KVL here, we find that the current that's flowing through the diodes, or this current here ID, is equals to 5 volts divided by 250 ohms. And this gives us 20 milli amperes. Now we can calculate the small signal resistance as the thermal voltage VT divided by the, small, the, the, the DC current that's flowing through the diodes ID. So this is 25 millivolts divided by 20 uh, milli amperes and that's actually 1.25 ohms so now we are able to perform the AC analysis so for the AC analysis we now back substitute I, I would assume that it's a sinusoid here but it's something that it's varying so it could be something different but the thing is that it varies like by plus or minus one percent of the DC voltage source so it can oscillate that and we have again the 200 ohms up here but now we substitute the diodes using their small signal resistance okay so we just put them here to remember that they are there then here is 50 ohms <clears throat> you can say that we have the ground here and this is plus or minus one percent so this small signal voltage V is going to be 0 0.01 times 5 which is 50 millivolts, right? So this is 50 millivolts. This is 1.25. This is 1.25 volts. Now again, if we apply the apply a KVL here, we would find a small C, no, a small I, a small D that's flowing through the diodes. And remember, here is our V out. So in the previous case, V out was here, right? So it is just the the voltage uh, uh, across the, the 50 ohm because we are assuming ideal diodes. But in this case here, we are going to have a variation that will basically depend on this current ID times the series of the 1.25. So let's calculate that. So it's going to be ID equals to 50 millivolts divided by 250 plus 2 times 1.25. And this ID is equals to 198 micro amperes. Okay. So overall so overall we know that V or like V out of T is equals to V out plus let's say small V so let, let's say that this O here it's capital O okay. this one too V out of T and we know that this V out is equals to 
ID capital I times 50 and this small v out here it's going to be just those 1.98 times 52.5 right so this one here corresponds to the because it could be like minus or plus so this is plus or minus right this delta v naught so this delta v naught is equals to so it's approximately plus or minus 10.5 Three or ten ten point four uh, millivolts. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this problem.